And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Foundation. All right, let's concede some villagers. All males. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have herbalists now. Two there, two there, two down here. And now we should start generating herbies. There we go. We started getting some herbs, which we should then immediately be able to store somewhere. I know there's a storage around here somewhere. There it is. How are we doing on sheep? Not too bad. And now that I've got that maxed out, I can go ahead and use the any anybody else. Looks like we don't have anybody else. But uh, good to go there. Now I need to think about, oh, how do we... How can we farm some area here? Definitely have some, you know, re wood regrowth over here. I think I'm going to turn off berry storage. Well, Yeah, I might. Doesn't really matter that the marketeers, the market tenders, they can go into individual businesses and grab, grab stock. Pretty sure I've seen them do it. I just know that I need to ramp up uh, flour and bread production. I just don't know how to get them fish. Like, is there a way selling fish for a hundred gold? Are you kidding me? A hundred gold for a fish. Uh, that to me is a little terrifying. I don't, I don't know. How do I know resources? I have 472 honey. Nice. Um, so oh, I can't unlock this now. Darn. I was going to unlock this. Uh, as far as trading goes, we could trade herbs. I think we got a pretty decent amount of herbs already. There we go. 66 for 20 gold a piece. So we can do trading resources, herbs. I'm going to set this to 50. D sell. I'm gonna set this to 150. And then sell. Now oh another envoy. Mr. Envoy. Uh, okay, so you should be now. Well, yeah, there we go. Here go the soldiers. Be good, dear soldiers. Be good. I just I don't know how to get more berries faster. 
Like, can I just... They seem to really want berries. Like, really, really, really want berries. Uh, we're gonna give you another worker. There we go. Now we're talking... Look at that. 14 clothes in there. Come on, clothing. Should be getting, we should be getting some clothes over here, but we're not. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna add some gatherers because there's a, there's a couple different spots we can gather from over here. We're gonna do gathering hut. Just make doubly, triply sure. Fisher's hut. Obviously, we <laughs> <laughs> we can't fish anywhere around here, so that seems to be not something we can just do. Like it produces fish, and apparently, it doesn't need to be placed on water because <laughs> it's just. Uh, I am, I am, I am mildly curious. I am mildly curious whether just this just works on land because I don't see any water anywhere on this map, like at all. It's a huge map. Now imagine with the problems that we have with housing and jobs. Imagine I have a house over here. Somebody lives there, but their place of business is way over here now they would literally have to walk all the way down here to do any work and they would never get anything done like ever so i'm you know very very large cities with this game i don't think are even possible to be honest i just don't um if, if you have an alternate <clears throat> experience than that you know let me know I'm going to give a couple of these people just to try to beef up our berry production. Because 56 villagers are lacking food? Are you kidding me? Now you can go through, like, John the Carpenter is missing berries, uh, bread. Those are what these two are here. For some reason the icons go away and you're for some reason not you don't have any so you're going for berries good should be happier oh, keeping it all you're going to the church now to take care of okay you got luxury Okay, now you're going to grab some honey, which is your luxury. That's fine. And now you're going home. Now you want bread. And he's walking all the way across town for that. And now you got shirts. You should be super, super duper happy now. Okay, your happiness should be climbing uber fast. Base happiness. Huh. Negative 100. Interesting. Okay, we are working towards 
better. I'm going to assign a villager to this so we can move a lot more goods. Okay, 22 there, 21 there. We are climbing on our cloth, which is good. I like that. We haven't had a trader stop by for honey. Let me make sure. Okay, let's, I'm going to unlock this. So we are not buying wool we're not buying wine and we're definitely not buying tools i want to make sure we're not buying tools no trade on tools good because these tools and these tools are the same only these are way more expensive so he's buying fish for five yeah this has got to be the wrong recipe like a hundred gold for a fish only to then sell it back for five gold that seems like a hefty markup to me um like a pretty pretty hefty markup very strange anybody let me know what that's all about because i'm a little concerned that that is way off uh, let's see. So I should be able to sell my honey. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Honey. And I think I set it over like a certain amount. Now I'm not sure where this other trader comes in. Pause. He wants to buy herbs. So he's definitely going to try to buy some herbs. Okay, so that's Northberry. And I have herbs. So 10 herbs is the most he'll buy. But I'm selling those when it's over 50. And I've got 223. Nice. Okay. So he'll definitely be able to buy those. And that's going to be, was that 200 gold? 10, 20, yeah, 200 gold just for that one trade. So he has to kind of stop by every single... And he'll buy from this one there it is he just he just grabbed herbs and I'm not really selling shirts at the moment and I really wish I could I knew where that other trader came from I just wanted to click on him and see how many uh, honey he wanted to buy But I, I suppose it doesn't matter too much. I mean, it is what it is. So, clothing seems to be a stickler for a lot of people. So, I need a few more. I just need a few more tailors. We have quite a lot. I have quite a good supply of cloth now. So, we're going to build... Taylor's workshop and I just want to make sure these are spaced apart enough to offer as many options to ingress and egress is possible yeah see i'm keeping having villagers leaving due to unhappiness and i don't like it i don't like it how is it ah there's one reason why we're not producing enough 
My, my workers keep leaving. That's kind of a, that's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy there. They're unhappy because no food. Well, they happen to be in the process of making food. So that made more villagers unhappy as a food. So I gotta, I gotta check all my bakeries now too. You got both two of two, two of two. How about you? You're two of two. Still no excess flour. Any traders sell? I mean, there's bread, but I guess not. These should go up pretty fast. How many unemployed do I have? Only two. Oh, that's okay. I should build this on this side. This is where all the new houses, housing are going in, of course. Uh, I need to see what buildings give me splendor One, that's the Lord Manor. Okay, wooden keep. Gives me splendor for the kingdom. That's what I need for all of these. Hunter's Law. Hunter's Hut. Might get me... So right now we've got this one. Um, I might need another one. If I can build another one. So maybe over here, because this is an entrance to the city right here. So I think it might be a good idea for a keep right there. And that hopefully will get us some splendor. And then we'll be able to unlock a lot of these. So we need at least 40 splendor for kingdom. Two new villagers. Okay, well, that's good. How, how are you guys doing? Really, really... Need to learn how to shear more than one sheep at a time. Or at least on a shift. Because it's painfully slow. Uh, we're going to assign you and a you and you. Oh. Since this is pretty much almost full. Thought we were getting some new people. Ooh, is that a trader? Yes. Wants to buy. It looks like he already bought. He already bought honey. Awesome. There's our last sale. Now we should be getting lots and lots and lots of shirts I'm hoping we start getting lots of shirts it's like we've got our first batch ready to go looks like we get two shirts per cloth yes that is a good that is a good ratio I like that ratio very very much Just because there's only one worker in here and it's takes a lot. I don't have any fish. Stop asking me for fish. Villager is leaving due to unhappiness. Of course they are. And I can't click on them to see what job they have. House is upgrading. Well, we should be getting more and more shirts. Now it's just food. For some reason, they're lacking food. And I don't know why. Because I think we have enough food production. I think. Well, we got lots of 
Lots of gatherers over here. So, one female that's unemployed. That's all we have to work with. Let's check. Make sure we have enough millers. Yep, millers are good. Probably could use one more miller. So I may want, oh, my mouse button is just, ooh. I may want another miller somewhere over here. So build, nope, build, windmill, 200 gold. Okay, so what I was working on last time, or what I was thinking about doing, was doing another keep. And I want to do it up here, but probably... Oh, another envoy? Are you kidding me? There we go. All right, so next episode, we'll build a big keep here. Hopefully, get enough splendor to unlock a bunch of stuff in my kingdom levels. All right, but that's going to have to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.